Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at both ShareWell and ServiceNow and taking a look at how you can go about um, ensuring that automatic replies or out of office replies don't automatically create tickets. So first off, we'll start with ShareWell. If we go into email and event monitoring, and then email and event monitoring manager, you're gonna choose whichever one you are currently using. Go into monitors, and this first one, it says skip certain items. Gonna edit it. And we're gonna add Let's see, the subject begins with automatic reply, colon. Um, every time you do an out of the office, it will have this automatic reply colon uh, in the beginning of it. And so that's all you have to do. You can click OK, OK, and then Sharewell will skip those items that start with automatic reply. Now, if we go into the ServiceNow side, uh, filter navigator here, actually going to search for filter. And we want under system mailboxes, administration, filters. Here's the various kind of filters that ServiceNow has by default. These are all out of the box on my current system. And we're going to look at the ignore subject. So it does have the subject starts with an out of office auto reply here. It also has a couple other ones like undeliverable, delivery failure, return mail. So by default, ServiceNow should already be blocking this. But if it's not, you can always go in here and add something like subject starts with automatic reply. And that should be all you need to do. Now, one thing I do want to note, uh, and this is potential for both ServiceNow and ShareWell, uh, and the reason I want to bring this up is because I've seen it in a couple different organizations. Um, if an individual sets up an Outlook rule that basically says, I'm going to be out of the office. So they're using the Outlook rule for an out of office without actually using the out of office there isn't a way to really block that because the user can enter in whatever they want. And so without having that consistent item of, I know what exactly to point this to because it's going to be the same every time. And the issue with this is that if they have an open ticket and say an agent responds back to them in an email, that email is gonna generate that Outlook rule back. That Outlook rule didn't take uh, any watermarks from the original email. And so what it's going to do is it's going to create a new ticket. That new ticket then will generally create a new email back to the customer. It says you have a new ticket created. And it just kind of goes back and forth. And you can really start to see that you'll have thousands of tickets being created because of that one rule. So that is something to warn your customers about potentially. Uh, if you do see it, your Office 365 or your Exchange or your mail admin should be able to stop that rule, uh, but it is something to just be aware about. That's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.